uh, hi guys uh, welcome to my channel for another video uh, if you have not seen my previous video so please check the description and click on the link to uh, see the video hello friends uh, in our previous video uh, we did create uh, edit view page right here you can see this is the edit view page that we implemented in our previous uh, video right and also we did create the edit function right here and send that product view model to our view here right and in this video we'll go ahead and implement post function for edit okay so let's go back to our product controller and then we'll go ahead and copy this okay and then we'll click enter okay so here make this as http post okay and then we'll go ahead and then type here validate nt for zd token and now what we are going to do we here we'll go ahead and type product view model right because now from our view we are getting a product view model so that's why we are adding to our parameter and here we're not going to have this line so just remove all this what we are going to do i'll go ahead and type the code and then later i'll go and explain okay So friends, what we have done here, uh, we are loading our products, right? That we are going to edit uh, from database because you know, from the view, we know the ID of the products that we are going to edit. So here we are loading it. And then if we have that product that we're going to edit, right? If it is not null, right? Uh, so then um, we can go ahead and get into this if condition and then uh, we'll assign those fields that user updated in the view we have four fields uh, for our product to edit there is another field uh, which is product image now what we are going to do we'll go ahead uh, you know uh, check if user is uploading an image or not the user could upload multiple images so we will also use uh, for each loop to get the uh, to get the all the images and the url okay so let me type the code and then i will explain uh, later okay
Uh, okay, friends. So we done with writing our coding. So let me go ahead and explain. So here I already explained what's going on, right? So here we are checking if the user is uploading any images or not, right? So a user can upload multiple picture for a product. So uh, we'll go ahead and use a for loop if they are uploading multiple pictures or not, right? So here we are uh, saving the file name. You know the file name means uh, uh, when user upload, right? So they do have a picture, right? So let me show you what I'm talking about. So you do see here um, the picture name, right? So here uh, what we're going to check if a picture name contain home or not because we are separating uh, home picture and then the uh, additional pictures for a product. So the home picture will display in the um, index list of product, right? And then in details, uh, all the all the additional picture will be displayed. So that's why we are separating uh, these two items, okay? So let me go ahead and uh, explain rest of them. So if the pictures is not home picture, we'll go ahead and uh, create a P image uh, object and with the details of the picture. Also, we are using the product ID for the pictures, right? The additional picture, and then uh, we'll go ahead and create a uh, create a data for this picture or for this image with the picture ID. Okay. So if they are uploading like three pictures, so there would be three pictures in the uh, in the product image class, right? In the product image class with the uh, with the product ID, and then we'll go ahead and save it. If this is a home pictures, right? We'll go ahead and also save the uh, file name. Uh, I think we do not need this is extra line. Let's just remove this. Okay. Uh, do copy and X put it here. Okay. So we are going to save the for home image URL for the home picture, right? And then I will go ahead and upload that uh, URL to our uh, to our product uh, product table because this home image URL we're going to save into our product table okay and then uh, i already explained uh, this to uh, this method right you can see the upload files methods right here which is here uh, in my previous video i already explained so uh, what it does it is uh, saving pictures under our uh, root you see the ww root and then the images folder here and and then sending the file name uh, here uh, to save the file yeah. you see it sends the file name as a string here and then we are going to save that uh, file name or the image into our database okay so this is all my code right uh, we'll go ahead and run this and then uh, we'll edit one of the items from our uh, index list So our product, um, our uh, site is running. So let me go ahead and click on product. And we have the two items in our uh, database, right? So let's say, so let's go ahead and edit uh, this uh, uh, this item, okay? So I'm click on editing, right? So let's say it said iPhone Pro Max, change the name to Pro Max, okay? And let's put some prices here, 15.99. And then the categories for now keep this. A smartphone i'll keep the same i will go ahead and add another additional picture for this one so let's go ahead and add this one so i'll click double so we have only one item now we are going to add so uh, we have uh you know one two three four five pictures so there will be another picture and you do see uh here the picture that uh, we added previously but this is not the iphone picture picture uh but what we're going to do we'll go ahead and uh, build this remove uh remove function right so then uh, user also can remove uh, one picture, well, well, like remove if they want, if they want to remove, uh, you know, by selecting one item or, you know, if they want to. Uh. So uh, friends here, here, so friends uh, here, you do see we have the iPhone pictures. So one pictures, you can see this is a not an iPhone picture. So uh, in our later video, we'll go ahead and uh, implement the function uh, that will remove a pictures from user list, okay, from this list. So now let's go ahead and click uh, on edit to edit the edit this product. Okay, so now we did uh, edit and what it uh, what it does uh, when we did edit it taking us to our index page of the product control. Okay, so now click on edit again to see if we did edit the new picture or not. Okay, so I did click on it. We're going down. Uh, okay, now we, we do see the new picture. Okay, so I think uh, this is how uh, we can go ahead and you know use our edit function to edit the pictures. So friends, uh, we have complete our uh, edit 
function, right? Uh, you can also see our edit view page is also responsive. Let me show you. So this is our edit view page, right? Uh, what we're going to do, we'll go ahead, make it a small and let's see if page is responsive or not. Okay, so this is the small size, right? So we'll make it bigger. So as you can see, pictures are getting adjusted, right? With the view size. So then, you know, uh, we can see when skin size is large, we're going to have a view like this, okay? And when skin size is small, uh, then we're going to adjust the picture size as well. So uh, in our next video, we'll also going to implement delete function. And what delete function will do, it will delete uh, delete a product from uh, from database and also delete all the images that uh, that this product contain right and also delete uh, the four pictures from this root folder okay because you know when product is deleted we do not need the picture to store here for that product okay so we'll go ahead and perform this activity in our next video thank you for watching the video see you in the next tutorial please do share, like, and subscribe the channel. Thank you. Bye.